Canon USA discover a better webcam? That's interesting. What's that email? Whoa, experience better video. You can turn your compatible Canon camera into a high quality webcam. Huh, that's new. Okay, so this is great news. So it looks like Canon just released a brand new uh, beta software, which allows me to use this camera here as my webcam. Uh, so this is something that I've been looking for, uh, trying to figure out how I can capture better video quality. So in the past, there's always uh, things you can buy. You can buy a capture card, you can buy uh, HDMI and connect to it and things like that. Uh, but there's always things that has stopped me from before. So if you're like me where you don't have a clean HDMI out, uh, this looks like it's a solution uh, for us. So I'm going to test this out and see if this works. If it does, this is pretty awesome. So it looks like uh, all it's saying is that uh, all you need is, you don't need anything, you just need to download the software. And let's go ahead and download the software. Once you download the software, there is nothing that will show up on your computer. It's just a driver. So it's just install and then it just goes away. Now, the next thing you have to do is that you need to get a cable like this guy here. I'm gonna make sure this. See this guy, this cable here, right? Okay, so this is a USB to a mini B USB, a mini B USB, okay? Uh, so this is not the best connector, but this is what we've got out of the Canon us 77d which is this camera right here so all we do is just plug it in and see what happens let's take let's try it out and see so once you have your plug-in all you have to do is plug it into the computer once you got it in uh, what you're gonna see is well before that make sure you reboot your computer so it does have to reboot computer before it takes effect so after you reboot all you do is plug in your usb into your usb port on your computer uh, and then it should show up as an option. So we'll try it with zoom and see. So once you connect it up, then pretty much go to zoom, go to your video and change the settings uh, to select the camera. So it will be listed uh, as the EOS webcam option. And then just pick that and lo and behold, now this is what you see. So there is a slight delay uh, in terms of audio wise and feedback. Uh, so that's expected because this is still in beta. I'm not sure it will improve or not, but I think maybe not because you're using a, uh, an older cable, uh, USB mini B in this instance. Uh, so it might not be uh, the best option, but it does give you a much better quality uh, video. So I've tested this now. Uh, it seems to work in Zoom, uh, Google Hangout, and also in your OBS uh, studio as well. So OBS and OBS itself, you can just pick it as one of the camera options. Now it does not seem to work with Skype, uh, as of today and does not seem to work uh, with the Microsoft camera as well. So there seems to be an issue. So other than that, it looks pretty good. Uh, it does not take audio. So you cannot do audio. Audio will have to be uh, through your regular uh, mics uh, or you know whatever form that audio that you have when you're doing uh, using a computer to do a, a, uh, a online uh, virtual event. So all those seems to be working as normal. Uh, everything, all those, it's looking good, looking awesome. Uh, the other thing I was curious about also was to see if I can actually uh, record at the same time as I'm capturing it and sending the feed over to computer. And unfortunately, no, you cannot do that. So I wish you could do that, that we can capture it, capture the audio through the camera at the same time. Uh, so we have two source uh, of uh, input. Uh, so other than that, this is a great option. It is free. You don't have to do anything other than making sure you have the cable, download the software, and you're ready to go. So um, 
Canon, great job, awesome. Looking forward to the full release of this utility. This beta right now as it is works great. Uh, the quality, if you can do something with delay, that'll be great. Your audio, that'll be great if you can do something about that. In terms of the uh, quality wise or the capture in terms of what it looks like, it's based on your lens, based on your profile settings, your exposure and all that. And it also depends on your white balance, what the color looks like and color grading and all those things in that. So you may have to uh, tweak and play around with it if you're trying to do it and use it as a webcam. Other than that, it works. This is great news. Awesome, awesome job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.